Hello and welcome to you, another Doctor's Assistant 1 video and for those of you who aren't very big or long time subscribers you might be thinking what the hell is all this about? Basically this is a traditional new news for those of you who don't know what that is it basically is like a, uh, a sort of a video thing in which I go over what I bought from a certain event of sorts so that includes the main big three ones are Christmas, birthdays and this one being free comic book day and the last one I did was for my 18th birthday so um, and usually they go in the order of Christmas then obviously my birthday being later the 3rd of February uh, last time I checked and um, and then this being free comic book day today of this recording so yeah I have a lot of bits and pieces as I save up quite a bit of money and uh, me and my mum go to Leeds and yeah that's always fun so yeah first thing or first item is this awesome Pikachu hat that I got for 10.99 from Forbidden Planet of course it's awesome uh, I just thought hey I'm getting more into Pokemon and I like the games and I like getting the cards and I just like Pokemon and I thought what the hell why not it's 20th anniversary of Pokemon today I might as well get that today so yeah uh, next item on my list I've got a uh, da -da -da, a tub of bricks Lego studs and things and bits and pieces uh, 11 99 for the big cup and yeah just put in as many pieces as you can fit into the cup uh, that's always fun uh, I didn't anticipate going to the Lego shop and to be honest it's been such a while since uh, I last went there that I was kind of like a bit I don't really want to buy the go there to buy these because I don't know how much they'll be and it's like the cup is 11 99 it's just then yeah see how many you can fit into the cup basically so you can select any pieces and any amount as long as they all fit into this cup and even if they don't and it's a bit of a tight squeeze the guy there puts all tape over the lid the lid so that's cool and awesome uh what else do we have we have some dvds i got uh star wars force awakens as it's a good film so i just thought why not seeing as it's released um yeah that 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 should be a good film to watch because it was fun to watch at the cinema uh delta and the bannerman because why not it was 6.99 and i've nearly now got all of the uh sylvester mccoy episodes i need time in the rani uh even though i've got it in the regenerations box set um, Time in the Rani, uh, what else, Happiness Patrol, Dragonfire, and Paradise Tower, so I only need seven more now, which is always awesome. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, uh, I got, um, Remembrance of the Daleks, now if you've watched my collection update video of my, all of my classic Doctor Who DVDs, you'll know that I've already got this, but as you can see here, it's the special edition, and get this, it was only 5 99 so I just thought, why the hell not, seeing as it's so dirt cheap, and it's an episode that I really like, and, you know, special edition version has even more goodies and things to watch behind the scenes, so that's always good. Uh, especially obviously if it's an episode you really adore. Um, six ninety nine reduced to six ninety nine uh, from twelve ninety nine, which is a bargain considering how detailed and articulated and amazing the Walking Dead figures are. Uh, this one and the other one that I got are both based off of the uh, characters from the TV show, and this is. Uh, uh, Carol, uh, which is awesome, cool figure. So, uh, expect a review of her at some point soon ish. And then we've also, on the same lines, got a 6.99 one of um, Abraham, which is also awesome because he comes with quite a few bits and pieces. And the thing that I love about these figures are the fact that they're the only figures that are in scale with the 5 inch Doctor Who figures. Uh, whereas every other figure range is either too small or too bigger than the 5 inch, uh, what is it, Doctor Who figures, which is a bit stupid, if you ask me. Um, the only Doctor Who action figure that I got that I hadn't already kind of got, or, well, the other kind of ones that I, the, that were there were like 3.75 inch ones, like the 12th Doctor from The Caretaker, there was that, but I don't have that one, but I was a bit like, ugh, there's no point. There was some big finish, but it was mainly some of the new Peter Davison, like Aquitaine, uh, Peter Lou Massacre, and another Peter Davison one, and they were all 14.99. every release except one was 14.99. even one that was a Tom Baker one, which doesn't make any sense, because the Tom Baker ones on the website are 
uh, da da da, are ten ninety nine. So yeah, I've got this figure. Now you might be thinking, if you've watched my figure adventures, why the hell do I have this figure? Well, because I didn't actually. The one I've been using in my figure adventures isn't actually mine, and it's uh, my best friend over at Nerd Central. I don't know why I pointed that way, as though he's right beside me, but um, <laughs> it's his action figure, and so yeah, I just thought I might as well buy this, seen as. It's uh, a re-release of that one without all of the bits and pieces, unfortunately, but still the extortionate price of fourteen ninety nine, which I think is way too much considering it's a yes a re uh, restock of a figure that was highly wanted back when it first released, mainly because of the fact that it had so many bits and pieces and was amazing. Uh, you know, take those things away and then still ask us to pay this much is just not fair in my opinion. I think, but I'll. We'll definitely be getting going through that more in a review, more in depth. Uh, yeah, about that in a review later down the line. So, Rick and Morty Volume One, as I adore the um, uh, da da da, the animated series. I've only seen season one, unfortunately. It was sixteen ninety nine from OK Comics, and what was I going to say? Uh, they also had Volume Two there, but I just bought Volume One. Um, this, yeah, I, I. I paid for this so it wasn't one of the freebies unfortunately of course but I also paid for this uh, Spider-Man Dead and Deadpool which is pretty cool Bob's Burgers again another one that I paid for just really sort of like the cover and this one as well I paid for which is Harley Quinn and her gang of Harlequins or Har Harligans yeah Harligans even uh, which is pretty cool cover really like the cover and I, I and I got that mainly because I really like the last issue of uh, Harley Quinn that I purchased or well bought well I didn't purchase I actually got it from Halloween Fest which is kind of like a Halloween version of free comic book day now we go on to the free comics which obviously I haven't read but yeah just quickly go through these Even though my camera's kind of decided to uh, somewhat, somewhat go all uh, blurry and kind of out of focus, which is a bit dumb, but you know. I might review this one, I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, it's a bit weird because I've literally just opened it up and it has the fourth doctor, even, even though on the front it doesn't have any of those doctors or the fourth doctor on there, but yeah. A bit weird. I literally just pick up as many as I can get, really. Um, to be fair, out of the two places, which was better, OK Comics or Forbidden Planet for the free comics, it was definitely OK Comics, so... They definitely had a lot more, but I'm still happy that I got the ones that I did get from uh, Forbidden Planet as well. Another Pokemon. The Pokemans. And the Pokemon. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got, you know, from action figures to uh, comic books to hats and some Lego and uh, some films, or a film and some Doctor Who stuff again, you know, uh, some Walking Dead goodies as well, and uh, just a load of free comics and graphic novels or a graphic novel and bits and pieces all around goodness. So yeah, thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.